Hi. Hi, Tania. Hi, teacher. Hi, Nelson. Hi, Miguel. Hello. How are you? I am fine. Excellent. All right. Hi, Tania. La extrañamos. We missed you the last class. I know, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. And Miguel? What happened, Miguel? A lot of work. Uh, sorry, I did not understand. That's okay. That's okay. I asked if you had a lot of work last week in your office. A lot of work? No. Or so, so. Yes. All right. So, so. Okay. Very good. What happened with the other guys today, huh? I don't know. With Osvaldo and Rodrigo, I think. Hold on, guys. I'm fighting with my earphones right now. <laughs> All right. So, guys, today we officially begin section two. Okay. So, for Miguel, that were not in class last Thursday, we were talking about the verb be. Okay. So, that's what we were talking about. We were talking about the verb be. And remember that when you talk about the verb be, you have am, um, is, are. Right, Nelson, eso fue lo que vimos, ¿verdad, Nelson? Yes, uh, verbo to be. The verb be, ¿verdad? Uh, Very good. Les decía yo a sus compañeros que el verbo be, we use it for description, for example, or feelings, or conditions. For example, say, I am married, I am single, I am happy for feelings, I am sad, I am angry, all right? When you talk about age, like I am 25, he is 15, she is 10, we are 41, we use the verb be. We do not use the verb be with another verb. For example, we cannot say I am play soccer. All right, you cannot say that. You say I play soccer. So you cannot join them together. All right, so you need to understand that. You can say, I am playing soccer, but that is uh, the, the present progressive, all right? Like right now. But only that to be, you don't say, I am playing. That's nothing, okay? Only I am happy or anything else that is not a verb. Tania and Miguel, do you understand what I'm talking about? Yes? All right, very good. So today, yes. guys, as I said, we're going to start with a section two. And if you have seen it, the first topic of the uh, section it's what's in the bag all right so i'm gonna show you today some objects and you're gonna see name in english you're gonna tell me the name okay do you know what this is guys what is this a bag no bag. Yeah, it's a bag but it has a specific name because we take it for school or for the university or for that we put things inside. What is this? It has a special name. Hi Osvaldo, I don't see you tonight. Uh-huh. How are you, Osvaldo? All right, what's this, guys? Miguel, do you know what this is? No, no conozco el nombre. Pero... Okay, okay, that's okay. It's a pencil case. Yeah? Pencil? Pencil case. Case. Pencil case, yes. Ya lo vamos a escribir, don't worry. Pen. Ahorita vamos a ver muchos objetos y me van diciendo, esa no sé, teacher, all right? So, si decimos it's a bag, but this has a special name, it's a pencil case, because we put pencils inside, okay? Yes, all right. We have, guys, we have, le robé todos los útiles a mis hijos. All right, so what's this? Pencil. It's a pencil, pencil. yes, it's a pencil, all right. Pencil. And what's this? A pen. pen. A pen, all right. This is a pencil and this is a pen. And of course, this is a pencil case, okay? Así como decimos el case del teléfono, all right? Pero ese es el phone case. This is pencil case, yes? All right, what's this? Ruler. A ruler, ruler. very good. All right, uh -huh, guys, what's this? Liquid paper. paper. <laughs> yes, it's liquid, liquid paper. paper. <laughs> That's not in English. <laughs> I mean, this is la marca, right? Very good. Or paper made, all right? Oh. This is white out. White? White out. White. Uh -huh, oh. Tania. 
Very good. Es como que la mandan al super y dicen, traiga rinzo y usted lleva fab o lleva uno. Right, so liquid paper is this for everybody. No, it's white out, okay? White out. Or you can say correction pen. There, we, it has two names. White out, white de white de blanco, y le pone un guión y out. All right, white oh. out, como fuera, white out. Uh -huh. Or you can say correction pen, okay? Yes? Ya ve que aprendió algo nuevo ahora. What's this? Marker. Okay, <laughs> it's a pilot. Yeah, it's not. Okay, this one is it's a marker, but it has a special name. It's a highlighter. Highlighter, highlighter. Es resaltador. A highlighter. You probably have these supplies in your office. No se preocupe, ya lo vamos a escribir todos. Highlighter, yes? So we say correction pen or whiteout. A highlighter. Pencil, pen, ruler, uh, pencil case. Yes? Okay. All right. Ya lo vamos a escribir, no se preocupe. Uh, what's this? Glue. glue. Glue, yes, it's glue, right? Si fuese de barra, for a glue stick. All right, pero ya no tengo de barra, soy la tradicional. Glue, all right, that's glue. All right. All right, what are these? Scissor. Uh, scissors. They are scissor. scissors. Scissors. Scissor. All right. Yes, Tanya? Scissors. Okay. Scissors. Very good. Just give me a second. Give me one second. All right. So we have glue and scissors. Yes? Scissor. All right, now, aha, uh -huh. so what's this? Marker, <laughs> marker blue. Okay. Oh, blue marker. It's a, okay, yes, you can say it's a marker, ¿verdad? Marker, it's a marker, a blue marker. In this particular case, it's a permanent marker, yeah, because it's permanent. Now, pilot, again, is not, it's, if you say marker, all right, this is a marker, very good. All right, let's see. Uh, then we have, oh, what's this? Era, eraser. 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 It's an eraser, yes, eraser. Eraser, very good. That's an eraser. eraser. No saber. What's this, guys? Whoops, sorry. What's this? Ya sabía que iba a sacar la sacar. <laughs> Ajá, yeah. so what is it? Tic, 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 oh. tic. <laughs> no. It's a sharpener. 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 Pen, you can say sharpener. pencil sharpener or just sharpener. Okay, sharpener. so we have sharpener there. Okay, very good. Espérenme que tengo más cosas aquí. All right, okay. What's this? No. No? Osvaldo, what's this, Osvaldo? Está calladito, Osvaldo. Uh -huh, Osvaldo, what's this? Uh, Ingrapation. <laughs> Very good, no. All right. <clears throat> it's a stapler. Stapler. Sta a stapler and this Grapes. are a staples. 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 All right. These are staples and this is the a stapler. All right. Yes. Stapler. Yeah, stapler. Very good. All right. What's this? Eso les va a servir en la oficina de saber esos nombres. All right, what's this? No. 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 <laughs> no. Hole puncher. <clears throat> It's a hole, hole de hole. agujero, hole uh, puncher. 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 Hole puncher. All right, hole puncher. Hole puncher. Hole, hole puncher. puncher. Very good. Okay. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Then we have this, que obvio ya lo saben. What's this? Notebook. It's a notebook. notebook. Very good. Yay. <laughs> It's a notebook. Very good. All right. Um, let me see. What else? What else? What else? What else? Okay. Pensemos en otras cosas that you have in your office, que ustedes ocupan. 
paper, what, you don't know how to say in English, for example, sharp, I mean, stapler, hole puncher, what else do you have in the office that you don't know? How do you say in English? Impresora. Printer. Oh. Printer, very good, as a printer, yes. Computer, right, of course. Photocopier or photocopy Photo machine. Photocopy machine, all right, photocopy. Uh-huh, what else? Think about your office. What else do you have in your office? Paper, all right, you have paper. What else? No? Es que en la oficina somos bien poco. Okay. You, you also have post-its, ¿verdad? Las que se pegan, las post de notita. Post-its, all right, very good. Post-its, what else do we have? A ver, filer, cabinet, no sé si tienen como archivadores, donde va todo todos docu los documentos and stuff, but anyway, file cabinet is that one, all right. A, a cup of coffee? A cup of coffee, of course. All right, that's fundamental in an office and a coffee maker. All water, right. water bottle? Water bottle, yes, water bottle, of course. All right, food. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Guys, what are these? Keys. Keys. Ah, All right, keys. They're not keys. keys. Así se escribe. Keys. These are keys. All right, one key. key, one key, two keys. One, all right, two. no es kiss. Kiss is, that's a kiss, all right? These keys. are keys, all right, it's longer. Keys. All right, keys, keys. yes? All keys. right, no le van a andar diciendo give me a kiss y le van a dar un beso y usted quiere una llave. Okay. All right, very nice. <laughs> all right, what's this? Um, what's this? Hire. 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 A hair comb, C O M B, hair comb, hair comb. Hair comb. Mm -hmm. And hair this comb. one right here? Hair comb big. <laughs> it's a hairbrush. It's a hairbrush, okay? Hairbrush. Hairbrush. Hair Very brush. good, yes. All right. Uh, what else? I think that's pretty much it. All right, okay. And ah, what's this, guys? Hold on. What are these? Coins. Coins, yes, that's money or you say coins because these are like the ones, okay? This is a one dollar coin, all right? Coins, coins. all right. <clears throat> Tienen su cuadernito por ahí, verdad? Yeah? Yes. All right, very good. So right now, Wait. okay. Right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to type. Hold on guys, just give me one second. Lo que tienen, buscan ahí algo de su papel o algo, porque vamos a empezar a anotar los nombres. Just give me one second, I want to see something. Okay. All right, hold on, guys. Here we go, okay. So here we have, I'm gonna sharing this with you so we can type, okay? So I'm gonna make it bigger. <clears throat> a la par, ¿sabe qué va a hacer? Hoy, hoy se va a sentir como que regresó a prepa. All right, a la par, no me lo voy a poner en español. Haga un dibujito, aunque sea así a la rapidita. No somos Picasso ni nada, right? So number one, we're gonna write one pencil because we know pencil, right? So ya se lo sabe, ni siquiera dibujelo porque you understand what it is. If you don't know, then if you don't know, then just make the picture. Pen, yes. So remember, we had a pencil. We had a pen, yes. All right. Number three, we had a pencil case. Pencil case is this, guys. This is a pencil case. All right. Remember, this is your pencil case. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Very good. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then we had, uh, ya lo perdí. Then we had this. What is this, guys? Do you remember what this is? A ruler. A ruler. Oh, very no. good. It's a ruler. Very nice. Okay. Then let's see. Oh, we had this one. Uh -huh. Do you remember the name of this? What is this, guys? What? what? White, white out, very good. White out, white yes. Out. It's a white, 
uh, oh. white out. Correct pen. Or co excellent. Or correction pen. Uh, correction. correction pen. La próxima vez que tenga uno cerca, revíselo aquí porque ya no se ve. Pero aquí decía, ve, correction pen. All right, so you can always check it. It's there. Okay, then we had this one. What's this, guys? Do you remember? A right um, It's no, a high. Uh -huh. A high what? Highlighter. 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 Very good. It's a highlighter. Very highlighter. good, guys. Highlighter. Um, All right, very good. Then we have this one. What's this? Eraser. An eraser, very good. Eraser. It's an eraser. Nice. All right. Tania, vamos a ver, Tania. Do you remember this one, Tania? El sacapuntas. Uh -huh, no. of course. No, you don't remember, Tania? No. Okay. You can say sharpener or you can say sharpener. pencil sharpener. Oops. Pencil sharpener. All right. <coughs> This one's, guys, remember this Scissor. one? Scissors. Scissor. Scissors. 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 Very good. Then we have this one, and we can say marker. Oops. Marker. Marker. No le vaya a poner T, marker. porque si le pone T, es market, como el supermarket, el selecto, la despensa, la maxi, right? Those are the markets, or el mercado, right? So marker. All right, very good. Then we had, oh, this one, remember this? How do you call this one, guys? Hold. Excellent, hold what? Hold, uh-huh. Hold? Puncher. Hold puncher. puncher. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Hold puncher. Very good. One, eh, Miguel, do you remember the name? Ooh. Ah, lo ponche, Miguel. Sí. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's a stapler. A stapler y las grapas oops, son staples. Okay. Okay. Oh, we're forgetting this. Remember this one? Notebook. Glue. A glue. glue. Yeah, yeah, vamos a escribir notebook. Glue. Si fuese de barra, a ponemos glue, glue, stick. glue All stick. All right. Glue stick. glue stick. Then we had notebook. Obviamente tenemos books, all right. Uh, what else did we have? Um, oh, the printer, right? The printer, we had the photocopy. Photoco photo. <laughs> photocopy machine, all right. Uh, computers, all right, what else? Oh, bueno, no sé si existen todavía mucho, pero typewriters son las máquinas de escribir. Typewriters. Fax machine. Fax machines. Are, oh, my God, machines. Uh, you can also have the scanner. All right, what else? Desk, all right, you have a desk. You have chairs. What else do you have in your office, guys? Coffee, uh, coffee machine? Yeah, you got a coffee machine. Coffee machine, or you can say coffee maker. All right. All right, very good. Computer. Computer, yeah. Fax machine, scanner, desk, chairs. What else? Typewriters, photocopy machine, printer machine. Okay. Anything else in your office, guys? A file cabinet, en el caso que tuvieran como archivadores o gaveteros para meter documentos, es a file cabinet. Pizarra, me olvido cómo se dice en inglés. Ah, pizarra de qué color? ¿De qué color la quiere? White, sí, de <laughs> la blanca. Y yeah, white. whiteboard. Ah, si whiteboard. solo fuera una pizarra, es board. Donde ponen mmm, como los anuncios de la empresa o de los cumpleaños, se llaman bulletin board. Bulletin board. 
It's a bulletin board. Very good. Si fuese green, todavía fuera green board, black board, ahí va a depender el color de su board, all right? Pero en el caso casi que todas son white board now. Board, board, what else? That's it, right? Back, backpack. Backpacks, very good. Backpacks, backpacks. Or you can say, uh, let's see. Backpacks also. Backpack. Back. You can say backpack or backpack. Or just, uh, I don't know, bags in caso. All right. What else? Um, you yes, have backpack. Mochila. Oh. Mochilas. Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo se diría los dispensadores de agua? I guess it's a water dispenser. Water machine? <laughs> yeah, you can, I guess so. Water dispenser or just water? Like the water thing. All right, what else? Um, how do you say um, dispenser suite? Like vending the, machine. Como una venta de golosina. Yes, the, the machines. Machines. Uh, vending machines. That they have cookies and stuff like that. Yes. Vending machines. Vending machines. Uh huh. All right. Oh, what am I wearing, and Tanya? Tanya and I, we wear what? What are these, Tanya? Um. Glee. Mm hmm. Ya todo se mencionó. <laughs> glasses. 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 Si fueran glasses, lentes en general. Si fueran nada más like reading glasses, then you write reading glasses. Y si solo fuera de sunglasses, then you write sunglasses. All right, depending on the type of glass you have. The type of glasses, all right. ¿Qué se me hicieron? Hold on, guys. I'm, oh, yeah. In in all back the woman, uh, this uh, maquillaje, makeup, makeup, makeup bags. I think you, you can just say makeup. Uh huh. Makeup. Oh no. Se me perdieron. Ah oh, no, quizá. Remember these ones? Keys. Keys. Very good. Oh teacher, how do you say um? Uh, the yeah. Ah, like container, like huh? water bottle. You say water bottle. Oh. Water bottle. En el caso que, uy, porque lo tilde. Water bottle. En el caso que usted lleve como los los recipientes para su lunch o algo, you okay. can say con, uh, containers. Containers are los recipientes. And then you have your lunch box. De ahí viene la palabra lonchera. Lunchbox. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Then, Basureros. Excuse me? Basureros. Ah, you can say garbage. Garbage can or you can say um, trash can. Or just trash. Trash. All right. Okay, very good. Uh, this one we said it was a hairbrush, right? Cal calculator, calculator. Ah, calculator, very good. Hairbrush and hair comb. Hair comb, then we have calculator. Very good. All right, that's pretty much it, guys, that we need to know today. All right, so today I wanted the first part of the class, I wanted to teach you like vocabulary, all right? Have you, have you studied, guys, the section two of the platform, yes or no? No. No? no. Okay, all right, that's okay, because I'm gonna show it to you right now, just so you know. 
Si quiere ver las que están arriba, me avisa para volverla a poner para la escritura o algo. Pero si no, ¿estamos bien? Yeah, are we okay, guys? Okay. Yeah? Okay. All right, very good. Okay, so I'm going to stop sharing this. And now I'm going to share. Uh, you know what? Hold on. I don't think I have it open. Okay, just give me one quick sec here. So today we're going to study not only vocabulary that we're studying right now. Right now we're studying vocabulary like a school supplies and general um, supplies. But we're also going to talk about that. Well, we're going to talk about this and these. All right, so I'm going to show it to you right away. So we are on section two. All right, so this I'm going to show it to you right now. So we have it here. Okay, so everybody can see this, right? Yes. Yeah, okay, so section two, guys, it's called What's This, okay? And we were, why did I show you all these objects and these supplies? It's because I wanted, to, I wanted to relate it to the video, all right, of your section two that you were supposed to watch, but you can watch it later again, all right? So I'm going to share the audio so you can hear it with me. Y veamos, hay, hay cosas que lo dijimos. Oh, hay unas que, que no, pero aquí están igual. Very good. So let's watch it here, guys. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll become familiar with common objects, which people have in their bags. We will listen to a quick audio, and you should listen and repeat. An address book. A hairbrush. Mm -hmm. A dress book can be a dress book, or it can be agenda, in case you need an agenda, all right? Right. Sunglasses. A CD player. A camera. Keys. A cell phone. All right, so you were able to listen. Uh, those little things that we were uh, practicing. No habíamos visto the address book in the wallet. Wallet is for boys, okay? wallets that you have the money like the coins or the bills and everything okay so now guys we're going to talk about this topic it's called the demo demonstrative pronoun so i want you to pay attention vamos a ver este video y luego lo llevo a una ppt that i have for you okay so let's just wait for it to load up Oh, it's slow today. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll become familiar with this and these. Before I start explaining this topic, we're going to listen to a quick audio which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's listen and repeat. <laughs> wow, what's this? It's a camera. Oh, cool. Thank you, Helen. It's great. You're welcome. Now open this box. Okay. Oh, uh, what are these? They're earrings. Oh, they're interesting. Thank you, Rex. They're very nice. In order to understand the concept of this and these, I would like to start by explaining the following. Number one, you're going to use this that spell out T H I S. Whenever you're talking about one object which is near you. Number two, you're going to use these that spell out T H E S E. Whenever you're talking about two or more objects which are near you. On a different class, I'll explain how to use that and those. So as you can see on the screen, there is a camera. And therefore, whenever we talk about one object, we're going to say, this is a camera. If we want to ask a question about a particular object which is near to us, we will ask in the following way. What's this? 
it's an earring. On the other hand, on the screen you also see two cameras. And therefore, whenever you refer to two or more objects which are near from you, you will say, these are cameras. Notice that the article A from the previous example disappears because we're no longer talking about one object, but instead two or more. If we want to ask a question about two or more objects, which are near to us, we will ask in the following way. What are these? Their earrings or their cameras, for example, right? For our practice exercise, I would like for you to look at the image and practice making questions and answers. For example, what are these? Their keys. What's this? It's a CD player. You're going to do the same with numbers 3, 4, 5, and 6. After you complete your work, you should share it in our discussion forums. All right. Okay, so right now, guys, I'm going to share this, and I'm going to show you the other presentation I have so you understand better the demonstrative pronouns, okay? So this is what we have here. Let me share with you here. This is what the teacher was explaining on the video, all right? When we talk about objects, we can use demonstrative pronouns. There are four. In this class, we're only going to, study, well, on the platform, we only study two, all right? We're talking about this, and we're talking about these, all right? This is más cerrado, this, and these is like more open, all right, these, all right? So when you talk about this, the red one means only one. For example, I can say this is a pencil because I only have one pencil. Yes? Now, if I have, oops, if I have two, then I'm going to use these, the blue one. These are pencils, all right? Yes, do you guys understand? So when I have only one pencil, I say this pencil. Yes. When I have two or more, maybe I have um, four, yeah? I say these are pencils, all right? Now, th this and these, one is for singular and the other one is for plural, they refer when they are close to us. Ambos los usamos cuando están cerca de nosotros o de la persona que está hablando. All right? Mientras que that y those los usamos cuando algo está lejos. Por ejemplo, usted no está conmigo en mi casa, entonces yo le digo, what is that? Y Tania me dice, ah, that is a um, uh, doll. All right? And I say, ah, ok, porque no está cerca de mí. Está, está lejos de mí, mientras que yo en este caso le digo a usted porque lo tengo cerca. What's this? Y usted me dice, this is a pencil. All right. So this is for singular, is near, and this is for plural and near. All right. Yes. Do you yes. have a question? No questions? No. Okay. Yeah, teacher, uh -huh, teacher uh -huh. I have yes. a question. Yes. Do you do you can repeat the pronunciation mm -hmm. this and this. this? All right. El de rojo is this. This. Es más cerrado. This. 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 El azul this. this. It's like this. This. Mm -hmm. this, oh. these. this. 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 Entonces yo le digo, what's this? Because it's only one. You say, this is a pen. So, a pencil. Yo le digo, what are these? Y usted me dice, these are pencils. These are. Yeah? So this okay. is for one, and it's closer, and the other one's wider. All right? All right. Okay. Yeah. So here, Nelson. Digamos que todo está what? cerca del niño ahorita. All right? Usted diría, this is a sandwich. 
or these are sandwiches? This is sandwich. This is a sandwich, ¿verdad? Todo va a ir en singular. This es singular, is es singular, a es singular y sandwich es singular. All right, so todo tiene que ir igual. This is a sandwich. Very good. All right, very nice. Let's see. Uh, vamos a ver la otra. Ay, oh, es que no vi la. Oops, sorry. Ay, no. Sorry. <laughs> es que estaba aquí y me tapamos nosotros mismos. Me tapamos aquí. All right, so we have two sandwiches, right, Miguel? So what are you going to say? Ya lo vio, Miguel. Uh -huh. Tell me the sentence, Miguel. Uh -huh. uh, your microphone, Miguel. Sorry, uh, is this. Okay, this. this is the whole sentence, Miguel. You say this is a sandwich or these are sandwiches? These are sandwiches. Very good, yes. All right, these are sandwiches. Pay attention, look here. You have this, is, a. Todo eso me denota uno. Y como sandwich no tiene plural, porque en este caso solo es un sandwich, Todo me va en orden. This is a sandwich. No tiene sentido si yo le digo, this, this is a sandwiches. Así como, ah, ¿cuántos tiene? Pues uno o more. ¿Ya? Yeah? You understand, Tania? Yes? Excellent. So these are sandwiches. Luego están hablando del that, pero eso todavía no lo vamos a ver. All right. Uh, Osvaldo, can you do the other picture, please? This... Are books. Excellent. These are books. Very nice. Tanya? These are pencils. Yeah, these are pencils. All right. Very good. En este caso hicieron dos porque están lejos, pero no importa. All right. Okay. So here I want to see what about, uh, estamos dando dos aquí, dos allá. Okay. What about the third picture? Nelson, el que está aquí con los, los two dogs. Oh, These are dogs. Excellent. These are dogs. Very good. All right. And the last one, Miguel, for the flower? This is a flower. This is a flower. All right. Very nice. Okay. Now, we need to, excuse me, we need to pay attention to singular and plural. Usually in English, we have a ball means one. Si usted ve el artículo a, me denota uno. Right? Aparte, ball no lleva ese. Entonces, todo es igual. Me, me, me encaja, right? A ball. A pen. A delicious sandwich. A kiss. A country. A good dictionary. Yes? That's the singular. So, we, here we have, I have two balls. Ya no digo a ah, balls. Omito el a. Yeah? I have a pen. Now I have pens. I have a delicious sandwich. Now I have delicious sandwiches i have a kiss and now i have kisses como los chocolates hershey's kisses yes all right then i have country a uh, country it changes to countries a good dictionary changes to dictionaries okay so los plurales por lo general se le agrega s ES or IES. Eso va a depender de cómo se escribe en la forma singular. Pero si a todos se le quitó el A. Ya no decimos A, 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 right? Because no tendría sentido. Do you understand? Guys, do you understand? Yes. yes. yes? Okay, very yes. good. Okay. Yes. So here we say this is a book. These are books. Yes? Let's see. Osvaldo. Uh, that is... Uh, espérame que sea. All right. Ok, something that is very important, y estaba igual en la plataforma, en el último pedazo del video, usted puede decir, this is a book, o puede decir, it is a book, and it's the same. All right, siempre den, me denota uno. Yo le digo, these are books, y podemos decir, ah, perdón, ajá, these are books, y decimos, they are pens, o podríamos decir, they are books. All right, en el caso, si yo le pregunto, voy a dejar de compartir aquí un segundo. Si yo le digo a Tania, Tania, what's this? Right? Esta, la regla está cerca de mí, pero lejos de Tania. ¿Sí? Porque está en su casa, yo soy en la mía. Entonces ahí es como, bueno, ¿qué uso, teacher? This or that? En el caso, this. right? 
Ah, en ese caso sería this, pero está raro porque no está cerca suyo, Tania, está cerca mío. All right. Entonces, para evitar esa como, como dificultad, en lugar de usar un demonstrative pronoun, decimos it is. Porque ya no, ya no, como no está ni cerca suyo, ni lejos mío, viceversa, para evitar todo eso, decimos it is a ruler. A ruler. Aunque mi pregunta sea what's this, usted me va a decir it is a ruler. Porque ahorita estamos lejos, entonces usted me diría, pues sí, pero ocupo un, uno lejos o uno cerca. Está cerca suyo, pero lejos mío. Right? Entonces decimos, it is a ruler. Y lo mismo pasaría aquí. What are these? Y usted me diría, they are pencils. All right? Ahora, si estuviéramos en una clase presencial, donde usted está casi que enfrente de mí en su pupitre, yo estoy enfrente en de usted. What are these? Y usted me dijera, these are pencils. All right? So, in other words, we can use it is, or this is, or we can say these are, or they are. Do you understand? Guys, do you understand? Yeah? Yes, yes, sure. Yes. Okay, very good. Yes, Before, okay, I'm gonna show you, uh, I'm just, hold on. I have here. Okay. Here, guys, we're going to, or you guys are going to work on this. We're going to work on an exercise, okay? Here. Okay. I want you to see this, it's here. Here, guys, you have this and these. Cuando están cerca. Acuérdese que this es cerca singular. These es cerca plural. ¿Ya? That es lejos singular. Y those es lejos plural. ¿Ya? So yo le digo, that is a car, porque el carro está súper lejos, a una cuadra de mí. That is a car, y lo señalo. Pero fueran muchos carros. Those are cars, porque están lejos y son plural. ¿Ya? Yeah, you understand? Yes, guys? Yes. Yeah, all right. Yes. So here, what, you, what I want you to do, lo voy a mandar a, a unos grupitos, tienen que ir viendo la imagen. All right, you have to look at the picture. Y van completando eh, con nada más this, this, that, or those. Lo demás ya está para usted. Por ejemplo, number one, decimos shoes are black. ¿Dónde están los shoes que are black? ¿Están en near o están far? Near. Uh... Near, right? Very good. Aquí están los black shoes. So we say these Shoes are black. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. For what about number two? Are we gonna say these shoes are gray or those shoes are gray? Those shoes. Those. Hágame un favor. Le puede tomar una fotico así como aquí para hacer esas ocho. Can you take a picture? Hey. Finish? Okay. Yes. Okay, just give me a second. Osvaldo finished? Yes. Okay. Tanya? Um, Yes. Okay, very good. And uh, faltaban estas otras cuatro. Sorry, no les caben en una foto. All right, finished? Finished. Okay. Finish, guys? Yes, finish. All right, okay. So now I'm gonna send you, lo voy a mandar a, a unos 
a, un, a sus grupos, digamos, Tania va a trabajar con, no sé, Osvaldo quizás o con Miguel, y juntos van haciendo el ejercicio, ¿all right? All right. So, dele, dele click al grupo. Es en pareja, all right? So, there you go, guys. Dele click.
Nelson and Tanya, did you finish? Um, no. Eh, no, not yet. Nine, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So you finish, but you finish some. Some. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. All right, I'm gonna okay. go on the other group, and then we're gonna go back because I have the other class. Okay. Okay. Sad. That. Yes. You. Yeah. Hi. Hi, teacher. No. Finished. Uh, kind of. Yeah, okay. Almost. Oh, okay. That's okay. All right. Very good. Okay. All right, guys, so we have number three. The, uh, what is the answer for number three? Nelson, what do you have? So, microphone, Nelson. This pen is small. This pen is a small. All right, very good. Uh, Miguel, what do you have for number four? That pen is very large. Okay, very good, fine. Uh, Tanya? Number five, Tanya? Oh, number five. The time on that clock is five. That's right. Very good. And Miguel, what do you have for that one? I mean, okay. sorry, for sorry. Osvaldo, what do you have for number six? The time on this clock mm -hmm. is uh, 10... 1150. 11. 11.15. Or 11, 10 to 12. 15. Right. Very good. Thank you. Nelson, yes. number seven. That, that plays a toy. Very Play good. That toy. plane is a toy. Very good. For number eight, Miguel. This plane isn't a toy. Very good. Right. Osvaldo, number nine. Uh, nine. Yes, please. This cat is eating. Is eating. Is eating. Very good. Tanya, eating. number 10. Yeah, it's okay. This cat is not eating. This cat or that cat? Oh, that cat. That cat oh. isn't eating. I know. That's okay. Very good. Uh, Nelson, number 11. That best glass are for reading. Mm. All right. That or those, uh, Nelson? Those. those. Those, right? Because they are plural. Those glasses are for reading. Very good. And Miguel, the last one? Mm. 
These glasses are sunglasses. These glasses are sunglasses. Very good. Okay, guys. So we're going to stop right here. Uh, very good job. So remember, you need to study the uh, spelling for pen, pencil, case. Okay, so vimos como varias vocabulario que tal vez no sabíamos o que no nos acordábamos. So you need to review that, all right? As well as demonstrative pronouns. This and these, all right? This is, these are, okay? So tomorrow we'll continue a little bit about this and we're going to be talking about they are and stuff. Do you have any questions? No. Okay. See you All right. tomorrow. Oh, yes. Okay, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Tomorrow. See you tomorrow, teacher. Have a nice night. Good night. Bye. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Bye.